Hello, world. Welcome back to another episode of Off-Grid Remote Cabin Tour. You're not going to want to miss this one. homemade wood burning so check it out right off the dock look at that ingenuity pretty cool huh pretty cool Stove, stones, agua. Oh, baby! Oh, yeah. So the entire place uh, is legitimately off grid. I'm walking here into the bush for those rainy days where power is a must have. They've created a little shanty lean to with a generator underneath here behind the sauna can you see the cabin through there nah you can't let's head on over that way what makes this uniquely special is it's either a giant hike down this hill and you park way up on the highway or it's a water access from a municipal boat launch on the other side of this lake. That one's seen better days, huh? Yeah. Well, here we are on the main site. Built in 1944 log cabin, post and pillar. As you can see, it sits on block all the way around. But isn't she a beaut? A beaut. Anybody awake in there? Anybody awake in there? Good morning. Good morning. Let's go to the other. This is the do your dishes, brush your teeth dock <laughs> off the water here. Recent additions include a solar panel here. I'll show you inside where they charge the batteries for the, the phone devices and the couple of fridges that have been put in. Surrounded by crown land, which is great. Never have neighbors around here. The old shanty bug out has seen better days, but uh, does sleep. It does sleep. And it's locked. Trust me when I say there's a couple of beds in there. A couple of beds in there. Hasn't been used in a while though. As you can see, take you over to the perimeter here. You'll notice there's a trail heading to the left. 
that will take you all the way around the lake to the next cabin, which is, I don't know if you can see the dock way over there. Bear country. But look at that spot. Look at that spot. We'll make our way up here to one of the two outhouses at this location. No running water, of course, no plumbing. New firewood hut there in the middle. We'll get closer there momentarily. So outhouses have been built <laughs> strategically facing away, facing away from the structure. There's one of two, yes, yes, yes. You don't really want to see inside there, do you? There's one of two. So as I was saying, if you parked up on the highway, it's probably good. I've done it. I would say 20 minute, 30 minute hike down. It's hard bringing on your gear in though. It's a heck of a lot easier on the boat. There have been vehicles down this trail. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but those who have grown up here know the trails very well and where to drive and what vehicles to drive down these trails. So that'll continue way up to the highway. Tool shed, miscellaneous materials, <laughs> materials that get brought in over the decades to do work. And then what do you, you know, what do you do? You just kind of put them in a pile until one day they get cleaned up. Tool shed there, firewood shanty, of course. Look at all that. Giddy up, a giddy up. And this little campfire last night. Cool little spot here, huh? Yeah. I'll show you the second outhouse before we before we go inside. There's a cabin from the outside. Gnarly. It's not gnarly. <clears throat> outhouse number two. Again, facing away. Hello. King of Thrones. Is that what they say? King of Thrones. Game of Thrones. All right, let's go inside. Cause it's a YouTube video. You love this. But you love the camera in your face. Especially the cabin. Right. <laughs> well, here's the kitchen. Everything runs off propane. The stuff, fridge runs off propane, and stove runs off propane. The propane tanks are outside, and the sink pumps. Pumps from the lake. Pumps from the lake. Decades of cutlery. Everybody awake? Yeah. Everybody awake? Steph. Steph's awake. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Yep. Whoa. Yep. And Yep. That's the map. I can't show it. We can't disclose our location. <laughs> Top secret. Right. 
cabin in the woods. I built that app once, uh, 10 years ago. I made that. Ha! And uh, there you have it. Remarkable. Let's go back outside. The sun's come up now. There we go. So post and pillar, obviously this one's been worked on over the years. They had to re-pour. Some of them were kind of tippy, but considering it's 80 years old, I'd say that's done remarkably well. I'd say that's done remarkably well. But come on. Come on, paradise. Boats over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, battery setup. I got to show you the battery setup. Okay. So solar panels are a recent addition. We haven't been here in a few years because of that C word pandemic. So standard Canadian tire, solar panel, cable buried underground. Comes in over there. Comes in over there games come to say don't park there and it runs your standard vehicle batteries here which provides power for things like charging stations We're living in the modern worlds huh but yeah it's standard standard 12 volt vehicle batteries that run off of uh oh and the inverter's over here the controller sorry the inverter is here can you even see that you have to trust me and the controller's right there what do you think could you live here i could Master bedroom, bunk beds, stuff in the morning, <laughs> stuff in the morning, stuff in the morning. Who stayed up by themselves at the campfire last night? I did because you two went to bed. Wow. Was wonderful. Oh, so who are you mad at today? Us or you? You for getting up and not letting me sleep. Well, Kylie got up and made me coffee with Bailey's. It's her fault. I'm going to get out of here. We bring stove. Chimney needs some work. So that's been put in, in place. Well, back outside here, so propane tanks that are used to run the fridge inside. Um, we're just on cooler for this trip, but that's why these tanks are here. Underground cooking pit, a yeah, a yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Good times, good times. But there you have it. There you have it. Come on now, come on. There's nobody around. There are no neighbors. It's gorgeous. It's 
gorgeous. Look at that, that's bottom. You see those wishies? Look at them all, crystal clear. I just wanted to see if I can show you how deep it gets pretty quick. So shallow, 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 and then massive drop there. Camera doesn't do it justice as to, I guess you can see that piece of driftwood tree. Goes from about two feet deep to about 10 feet deep right there. And uh, same thing over here. So the motor is trimmed up currently. Can you see that? Block the sun right there. All right. But uh, there it is. Oh, lucky, lucky. It's not a bear. It's not a bear. Is it a bear? <laughs> That's what a bear, that's exactly what a bear looks like. Steph, you want wishing? That's my reaction to seeing a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Boy. Is that for me? Mm -hmm. Or for you? For you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now, here we go. Lake Placid. You've been feeding them cows? Just a couple. You've been feeding them cows? I was trying, I was filming a fish, trying to film one out here. Steph, have you had a tea? You having a tea? Are you, are you having a tea? Yeah. Tell, tell the camera how much you love. Okay, this isn't gonna be in every video gag of the thing. Huh? <laughs> I think I think we should let other people decide, so leave a comment below. No, more face gag. No more face gag? I'll ask her again after she has a beer. Well, friends, that's going to do it. Time to edit this video. Peace and love from an undisclosed location at the cabin in the woods. Give somebody close to you a hug. Tell them they matter. Don't forget, you matter. And if you like this content, tweet it at your grandma. See you in a few days.